channel. It's Sonora, aka the Southern Belle of the South Bronx. If you're new here, welcome. You see the hair dryer in the back? It's a hair tutorial. We're going to be doing a plant-based wash day, aka a plant-based wash and go. So we're going to start off with our aloe vera pre-poo and then followed by my okra hair gel. Yes, the infamous, or in my case famous, slimy okra is one of the best hair gels I've ever had. It's just pure okra. Well, you know what? Let's get started. We're gonna get started with the pre-poop first. So we're gonna start off with one aloe vera leaf. Usually get this at the supermarket. Any supermarket usually carries them. They're between a dollar and two dollars, just depending on what the cost is that week. And I just go along the edges. I take off the spiny parts, and then I go along one side of the skin of the aloe vera, if that's what it's even called, just to remove the membrane from the outer part of the plant and then I just scoop out the aloe vera and I go in again because there's always leftover aloe vera gel and we want all of it we're going to put it into a blender and we're going to blend this up with no water just a plain old gel until we get a jelly consistency and then we're going to run this through either a sieve this is a nut milk bag I love using these I get a pack of I think it's six you get two of each size just to get those bits and pieces. You don't want those bits and pieces to get caught in your hair. And here I'm just reusing a squeeze bottle, but you can just get one from the beauty supply store. This is from an old glycolic acid that I got at Primark. We're gonna put our aloe vera gel that we just finished up blending, some essential oils. This is a blend that I like to make, and then some Haitian black castor oil. Haitian black castor oil is an amazing oil. It's antibacterial and also antiviral, perfect for scalp health. We're gonna add that oil, we're gonna give it a shake, and then we're going to apply. So as you saw, the pre-poo is pretty easy to make. That is a video I made just a few weeks ago, but I only posted it to IG Reels, TikTok, and I believe YouTube Shorts, but I never made it extended so you can see step-by-step step how I do it. So this is what we have. This is um, half of what I have from my last wash and go. I bought a big plump aloe vera leaf, and I just put the rest of it in the refrigerator. This can last in the refrigerator if, I, if I'm not mistaken, like up to three weeks. It didn't have a smell or anything. And I just added the same oils that you saw in the video prior to this one, to this clip, I mean. And let's just apply it. But before we apply it, I just wanna show you. Do you see? The product buildup the dry hair and what the aloe vera does I, as I explained in the clip before this one is that aloe vera has proteolytic acid in it so basically it's an acid that eats up the dead skin cells or any product builder that you may have on the scalp so it's like a gentle exfoliation for the scalp which is great because you know we want our hair to grow and I always say for hair growth the, one of the primary things is first of all genetics and second is scalp health you need to make sure that your scalp is always healthy and clean in order for the follicles to have the room and the healthy environment to grow see that product build up probably see it floating around the screen but let's get into applying so since you know we added oil and aloe vera for the most part is mostly water you want to make sure you shake as you go so that the oil can get incorporated with the aloe vera juice and then I just like to go in and massage and this feels so good I always say one of the things that I missed most about not going into a salon weekly like I used to when I would straighten my hair is the shampoo and Massage like I miss someone massaging my scalp So I just like to go in section by section You can get a little messy so you can do this in the bathroom See how slimy it is and I want to make sure that first and foremost I'm massaging this into the scalp because that is my problem area I have a dry scalp and also because I have low, low porosity hair 
product tends to sit on top of the hair follicle instead of being absorbed. It has something to do, I'm not an expert on this, I just do a lot of reading and a lot of watching. So low porosity hair is when the hair follicle, instead of it being the follicles, the if you put the hair up to a microscope and you see the hair, you see those commercials, like the Tresemme commercial, you see that the hair like flares up. Low porosity hair, all of the particles of the hair are just tightly wound together. So when you put water on it or you put product on it, nothing is absorbed. So I've applied all of the pre-poo, the aloe vera pre-poo to the hair and even to the back. You can see. And what I like to do next is this is optional but i like massaging the aloe vera straight into my scalp and as you can see i after i applied it to my scalp initially i move on to my strands and i just like to give a nice little massage just because one it feels good to be quite honest two it helps with hair growth because as you stimulate the hair the blood vessels underneath the scalp skin that allows for the hair to grow and it's not like a, oh my god, massage today, my hair grows two inches by next week. It's not that. It's all about scalp, um, stimulating the blood underneath the scalp, having a clean scalp. All that aids in hair growth, along, like I said, with primarily genetics. So, a nice massage. And also, I noticed that a lot of my product buildup and flakes are usually here in the middle because that's where I part, or here on the side. And then right here where the crown begins so that the crown is here and wherever like a headband would sit I have like two mounds here I have a huge head that's where I get a lot of my product built is so I like to make sure and I'm also massaging with the balls of my fingers not my finger nails um, sometimes I get a little aggressive and then I have like little microscopic cuts on my scalp because I'm going in with my fingernails and that's not healthy either because you can create like little cuts and then they'll get infected. So I just wanted to mention with the oils that I'm using, specifically black castor oil, is that it's antibacterial and also antifungal. So again, it aids with removing any dandruff, any product buildup, any dry skin that you may have on the scalp that just normally comes off the scalp because well, it's a scalp, it's skin, just like you would exfoliate or shed on your face or your body. I love using that. And then I like using the peppermint mixed with the camphor and the, what's the other oil? Eucalyptus, because they help stimulate the blood underneath the scalp, so it feels good, it feels wintry fresh, kind of like when you chew gum and you drink a cold cup of water. It's like that effect, but on your scalp, so it feels good. I go in with a reusable shower cap. And because obviously this is where we emit most of the heat in our body and this aloe vera is mostly water and we also put oils as you start as your body starts to heat up and you have this cap on it'll start to drip so what I like to do is go in with one of these microfiber towels and I will list down everything below everything is pretty old this is from the dollar store and these are from Amazon but they're really old but they're my favorite what I like to do is Just wrap it like I would a turban. And you can leave this in for about 15 minutes. I like to do an hour. Sometimes I've left it on for two hours because I'll go ahead and do some stuff around my house. I won't run an errand with it, especially not in the winter because I don't want to catch a cold, even though I feel like that's an old wives tale. But So in the meantime, while we're letting this sit, let's get into making our okra hair gel. By the way, I have a full video on how to make the okra hair gel. This is still a full video, but not as intense as the original. Again, I will put that somewhere up here, put a, a video card. So yeah, let's get into that before we wash this out. As I mentioned earlier, there's a full video dedicated to okra gel on my channel. This is when I had a curly bob. I'll put the video card up top. You can watch that after you watch this video. So we're gonna start off with some fresh okra. I like to rinse each piece because I just wanna make sure there's no dirt and you know, no little animals or critters living inside of the okra. And then I just cut them. I usually cut them into rounds. This last time that I made it, which is not in this video, I cut them lengthwise. You just want to expose the sliminess of the okra. In a pot, you wanna take some cold water, you wanna add your okra, bring it to a boil until it starts to thicken. 
you turn it off, allow it to cool slightly, and then we're gonna pass this through a sieve, a strainer, a nut milk bag, the way I did the aloe vera. I believe in this video we use a strainer. Yep, we did. And you see the color. It's very faint, it's like a very light brown color. It doesn't really have a scent to it, but I like to add essential oils. You don't need to, I didn't do it the first time but um, we're gonna add some lemongrass and some peppermint. By the way, this blend, the peppermint with the lemongrass smells like a lemon, what's it called? A lemon head. One of my favorite candies growing up, they were like 10 cents. They were delicious. So I'm just showing you the consistency. And then we wanna just pour this into a squeeze bottle. This is from the beauty supply store, one of those known brands as Diane. I believe the other one's like Annie or something. It was a dollar. You want to put it in there. You get a lot of gel, so you can use this. You can just put it in the back of your refrigerator, wherever it's coldest, and it'll last there for at least two to three weeks. I washed out the aloe vera pre-poo. We made our okra gel. I don't know which direction. I want to share the shampoo and the conditioner. Well, the mask, I use a mask this week, that I used after I washed out the aloe vera pre-poo. I use the melanin, it's called Melanin African Black Soul Revive Shampoo by my one of my favorites. Whitney, which her, um, what she's known for is Natural 85 here on YouTube. She's literally the OG of the natural hair gang on YouTube and across the social medias. I love the shampoo. I've been using it since, I want to say the late October. This is where I'm at, as you can see, well, my previous clips and my previous videos, I am growing out of Pixie, and it's a really good shampoo. It really gets in there. The aloe vera pre-poo does an amazing job at removing debris, build up, all that stuff. This also does an amazing job at that without making your hair feel like stripped. But there's nothing wrong with that because you do want to remove product buildup and then add moisture and any nourishment back in with this this <laughs> this is the matrix a curl can dream total results this is the manuka honey extract rich mass for curls and coils it's my first time using it today and i love it my hair feels so hydrated and that's something that's hard to say um for me because i do have low porosity hair and my hair tends to be a little dry this is so good and it smells so good like it smells like a perfume that I would actually like to wear. It doesn't smell like flowery, which I don't like that scent. There's other products that I love, but I hate that like jasmine violet type of scent. This smells really good. So I really love this. Now let's get into styling. So this is my first time using the okra gel on my growing pixie. So I haven't used this since last year when I cut my hair. So actually, gonna take my towel because for me the perfect wash and go my hair needs to be drenched as I'm applying product and I don't use leave-in conditioner oh wow do you okay I have low porosity hair and as soon as I put a towel or anything on it my hair is completely dry I've had this towel in my head now for about 10 minutes do you see how moisturized and shiny it looks usually it'll be like half dry and like it'll look like the Sahara Desert. My charger just fell. This is really good. I got the 9.4 fluid ounces. And the smell, delicious. All right, so as I was saying, I do not use leave-in conditioner when I use the okra gel. I have used in the past, but I don't no longer have that leave conditioner. And you know, sometimes when you're mixing certain gels with um, leave-ins, you might get like that healing type of feeling like where the gel condenses within the leave-in and then you get like white little balls all over so I'm very like I tend to test test it test it I tend to test it on the palm of my hand but I don't have any leave conditioner at the moment and I've tried the same recipe without leave-in conditioner and it works um the okra gel itself is very conditioning the sliminess all that good stuff it works for my hair texture I re-wet the hair a little bit and then I'm going to part it because I always start with the back. So I'll just gather up the front all the way up until the crown. And like I said, I'm growing out of pixie, so the hair is like all over the place. 
I like using this three row comb I got at the beauty supply store here in New York City but I love it for my pixie cut because it really gets in there and then since the top is longer than the bottom I like to use my trusty dusty diamond brush which as you can probably see the name has worn off but this is the nine row so we're using a three and a nine row comb and paddle brush diamond brush whatever same thing are you the consistency do you see how it keeps going <laughs> it's very slimy so it's a very wet gel and add some of the gel and then I just like to go in with this comb to clump the curls see there you have it so I'm gonna finish the back and I'll come when I'm gonna do the front so I can give you a better look all right y'all so we're at the front as you can see this is how I like to part my hair on a swivel going back just so when it dries everything stays put but you know my hair likes to do whatever it likes to do so we have about three more sections to style so one and then these two so i like to take the gel like i said it's very liquidy so you know don't do this in any clothes that you're gonna go out in because it gets a little messy so in the front i like to go with my demons brush and i not from the root but like right there like an, an inch or so and i just like to comb it through and then very carefully if I need to finger coil anything. And I just finger coil at this point because everything is at a different length. Just so that when it dries down, like you see how this is like hanging, all of this is like shaking. When it dries, you'll see it dries to my scalp. My hair shrinks a lot. Right there, bring it through. Again, I just do it to clump the hair. Sometimes it clumps too large of a section and I just break it up a little bit. I like to use these, I think they're called duck clips. I'm not sure. I like to use it both when my hair is short or long because it helps me preserve my parting while it dries. So this is our wash and set, our okra gel wash and set. In the winter, I do go underneath the hooded dryer on cool for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, depending on the length of my hair. And I just let the cool air hit it um, until it's fully dry. But right now I have to cook, so I'm gonna let it air dry for about, it's gonna take me like 30 or 45 minutes. And then I'll get in here to do the rest of the drying on cool. So it's almost five hours later. It is 7.38 p.m. And I finished styling it around 3.48. I cooked and everything. I still have not gone under the dryer, but this is what it looks like so far. Just air dried. Um, the roots are a little wet. Well, no, a lot wet. So I am going to go underneath here for maybe like 20 or 30 minutes. Because it's like 80% dry. Or like 85% I want to say. Because the ends are dry. It's just the root. Ooh, and this crown part. So BRB. So I am fully dry. If you see that I look a glazed donut, it's because I did my skincare before. I showered and did my skincare before I went underneath the dryer. But I'm fully dry. What I usually do, because I wash my hair and do all my wash day stuff in the afternoon, then style it sometime at night, I sleep, and then in the morning, usually Monday mornings, I like shake it out and pick it out. My favorite hair day is day three and four. <laughs> I mean, one and two, is like obviously this is the only head I have, right? But I love the messiness, the frizziness, all that comes with day three and four. But I'll be back tomorrow morning so you can see the final results. But right now I'll just show you a close up. These are the curls. As you can see my hair did shrink a lot but the hair is very shiny 
it's moisturized there's no flaking of the product i'm telling you it's like one of the best gels no white flakes no cast none of that <clears throat> show you this side again i'm not on my swivel chair i apologize and we'll do this side it'll look much better tomorrow once i pick it out all right yeah so it's the next day i have not touched my hair i just took off the bonnet and now i'm gonna remove the clips i sleep with the clips I sleep with the clips in just so that my hair can stay parted. Um, as you can see, there's still shine to the hair, no flakes. The hair is pretty defined. Let's see if I can focus. See the definition. See how much it shrunk to my head. So this is the hair. Let's see if I can do it. again, not in my swivel chair because I'm on the opposite end of my living room. See the curls i like it because the curls are clumped they're somewhat defined i'm not really into the whole like very structured curl i like my bit of frizz i love volume with a side of definition instead of definition with the you know inevitable excuse me frizz or volume so I have my favorite pick. This is from the company Diana. It's one of those beauty supply store brands here in New York, but I'm pretty sure they're all over the country. And I got this at um, Marshalls for a dollar, I don't know, a long time ago, like three or four years ago. So I bought two. So it's an aloe, it's a jojoba and aloe and something else infused hair pick. I've used it in a few of my hair videos. It's not new on this channel. And then to zhuzh up the hair, move it around so that we can create a little bit of height because it's right now is very shrunken to my head. We're going to use some apricot oil and this is just 100% apricot kernel oil. So the oil of the kernel inside of the apricot. And this is excellent for, it's a, amazing moisturizing oil but it's also good to soften fine lines and moisturize dry hair so i like to use it fine lines meaning in the face i'm just gonna take just a tiny bit like this so we have our oil and i just like to go into the scalp give it a shake I like to go in with my hands first and I'm not combing it all the way through. I'm going in, lifting and shifting out. So I'm going in, shifting up and then coming out. Because if I go all the way up, I'm just going to destroy the curl. So I'm just going in, up and out. And I just like to go in with my hands first and then perfect any area with the hair pick since my hair does shrink a lot this is always a problem area for me because i'm like trying to bring the sideburns down a little bit without looking like curly sue is it curly sue or shirley temple one of those girls and we're gonna go in with the pick same same thing in up and out in up and out <laughs> that is it some days um as the hair becomes fluffier there's more volume because of friction with the bonnet and sleeping and just day-to-day -day stuff i will use um a little bit of the okra gel just right here on the end and i'll just smooth it with my finger not even a brush so the hair here is very delicate the hair at the edges and i just comb it so again it's not perfect because i'm not looking to have perfect baby hairs and I just put like a, it's one of those really tiny bobby pins and I just put it there so that it the part stays and it looks put together this was my plant-based wash and style day using both aloe vera and okra I hope you enjoy don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see what my hair looks like on day three and four and five Usually my, my wash days are every six days, sometimes five days, depending on how I'm feeling. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. 
Let me know if you would like to see my cassava gel. I need to perfect it because when I first did it, it was very flaky. But let me know if you'd like to see another veggie being used as hair gel. Y'all be blessed. Bye.